Hi everyone, my name is Aniela and I am a second year resident. I just finished my intern year and I'll be starting my dermatology residency in the next few days. Because I'm fresh off of intern year, I thought it would be great to just do a video to give you guys tips about starting an intern year and to help you with your transition. I know it's the COVID-19 era as well and a lot of people have a lot of fears about that and then just in general being an intern is scary and you have a lot of, might have a lot of questions. So hopefully this video answers those questions for you. July 1st is quickly approaching. I know a lot of you are nervous and I want this video to help you out. And I know some people already started, so hopefully this video is just right on time. Let me tell you a little bit about the hospital that I worked at. My hospital was, um, is a, was a community hospital and it was a 665 bed hospital, so a pretty large hospital. And additionally, it was located in the Philadelphia suburbs. And I just used the quotation marks because it actually wasn't in Philadelphia. It was on the outskirts of Philadelphia. But the location of the hospital is really important because it actually was the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic in Pennsylvania. We saw a lot of COVID-19 patients. I saw patients in the ICU. I saw patients on the floors. I have a lot of tips to give you guys in regards to working with COVID-19 patients, okay? So just to let you know that this is my very first video, so at some point I will probably be looking at my handy dandy notebook of all the things that I want to cover in this video, so just be patient with me. But hopefully this is a video that's very helpful, okay? So let's first start with expectations. What are people expecting from an intern? they're not gonna be expecting a lot from you when you first start. So what you really need to know, know as an intern is you really do need to know your patient inside and out. And the reason that's really important is because of all the things that you do. You will be writing notes. So to be able to write a good thorough note, you'll have to know a lot about your patient. You'll also have to be collecting data. When I say collecting data, like looking over the vital signs, seeing what medications the patient, the patient has been taking, looking at the labs, understanding lab trends, looking at lab abnormalities, and knowing what labs are pertinent to present on rounds so that the attending is aware of. And understanding all of um, the patient's like social factors as well. I remember one of my attendings using the term saying that I expect the intern to be the data collector and that's really what you'll be doing you'll be collecting all the data about the patient be able to do that you have to understand the patient and by collecting the data you'll also understand the patient a lot as well but also make sure you're speaking with your patient because a patient is just not numbers and all of that will help you with writing your notes and writing your notes will take a lot of time initially because usually in med school you're only writing about let's say two to four notes a um, a day depending on the rotation that you were on but depending on the program that you're in you'll be writing about seven to ten notes a day so it will definitely be difficult when you're getting phone calls from nurses and respiratory and social work to do a whole bunch of other things other than writing notes but writing notes is a very important part of your job as well another important part of your job is while the patient's in the hospital is making sure that you're getting in touch with consults and this is why it's also very important to know all about your patient because when you put in consults and you consult GI or you consult heme onc, they usually will call you. Either it'll either be the attending, the fellow, or the resident. They'll call you and say, "Why are you consulting me for this patient?" And sometimes they'll ask you follow-up questions. So you definitely would have to know about your patient. So don't just put in a consult and not know why. Like let's say for example, your senior is just like, "Oh, can you put in this consult?" So make sure you understand why because. Usually it'll be you they'll call to figure out what's going on so that they can go, they know what's going on before they go see the patient. As an intern, you'll be doing a lot of the discharge setup and paperwork. So what I mean by that is usually there's a lot that goes into discharge. Working out with case manager, the social work, doing discharge instructions, um, making sure you have all the correct medications for the patient to be discharged on. Whatever paperwork your hospitals mandate for when you're discharging, you'll also have to do that as well. It does sound like a lot, but it'll come with time and usually your senior will be at your side helping you through this whole process. That is what is expected of you. Um, I had a patient once introducing me to a family member, like this here is the doctor, but she's an intern. So her job is like a coordinator. And I was like, that's a pretty descriptive way of putting it. I don't, I'm not 
mad at it. I guess I am kind of like a coordinator. An expectation will be for you to learn, but that will take time. So you'll be learning from your seniors, pay attention to how they work and how they think through um, a, a case, pay attention to your attendings. They definitely will teach you on rounds. Also pay attention to how other people write their notes. You can definitely take tips from how they do it to develop your own style on writing notes and learn from your patients. Your patients are coming in with clinical cases. You'll definitely have to take the time out sometimes to learn about their um, clinical conditions, to learn how to manage their clinical condition. You will learn, however, in the first few weeks, in the first few months, it'll be very challenging to be making sure that you're retaining that information while learning on how to be an intern. But as with everything, it'll come with time. Okay, let's quickly run through what your typical day will probably look like. You'll come in in the morning and you will get sign up from the night team. The night team is going to tell you if anything significant happened overnight. And then after, you're going to go onto the computer and you're just going to review the charts, review vital signs and the labs if they've already come in for the morning and see what they look like. And ask yourself, you know, what do I need to do before I see this patient? Do I need to put in any orders? Are there any things that anything I have a question about that I probably want to speak to the nurse when I go see the patient? Any questions I specifically want to ask the patient when I get there based on what you see in the chart? Then you go and see the patient. I always, always, always spoke with the nurse taking care of that patient when I got there. I think the nurse gives you information that sometimes you wouldn't have thought of such that they were concerned about something or the patient told them something and they wanted to relay it to you. So it's always great to just touch base with the nurse and say, hi, I'm the resident taking care of this patient. Did you have any concerns about this patient? Um, anything you wanted me to know? And they usually will tell you, no, I have nothing. Or they'll tell you something. After you see the patient, then you will start typing your notes, putting in any orders that you realize that you needed to do, be following any labs that haven't come in yet, and you'll really be doing that until it's time to round. Then when it's time to round, you should have gathered all your information. Some people have a computer with them, some people have an iPad with them, some people will write it down. Personally, for me, I would write it down. I would write down all the pertinent labs, all of the pertinent information that I wanna make sure that I stay on rounds, and then you'll round with your attending. After rounds, that's usually have taken up the whole morning. For some programs, you will likely have like lunch or a lecture around 12 o'clock. Um, but then after that, then your afternoon starts. And what your afternoon will really consist of is any orders or any consults or anything that the attending said that they wanted done. You would probably do it then or you'd actually do it right after rounds, right before your lunch. You'll get those in and then after that, you can start working on any discharge paperwork or discharges that occurred. Now mind you, every day is gonna be different. Some discharges you probably knew about the day before and you probably could have started it that day before and had the discharge ready for morning time. But I'm just giving you a loose representation of what your day might look like. And then after all that is done, any notes that probably weren't completed, you just make sure that they are completed. And really by the time all of that is done, it's usually about time to get ready to sign out. And when you're signing out, you want to make sure that you tell the night team all the pertinent things that happen throughout the day you also want to let them know anything they need to have they need to watch out for overnight and what they should do when something happens overnight and then you can go home and you rest and you regroup for the next day we're going to wrap up the video here the original video was actually 30 minutes long so i decided to break it up into two parts because if you're anything like me you don't have the attention span for it i'm packing in a lot of information into these videos so we'll take a break here but be sure to follow up on the next video intern year in the COVID era part two in that video i'll be giving specific tips for interns as well as speaking about working with COVID 19 patients if you like what you heard today and you want to keep up with my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like what you heard and want to let me know, make sure you press that like button. If you want to get to know me a little bit better, make sure to follow my Instagram at the real skin I'm in. I'll see you at the next video. Bye.